Five Rams Sports Talk with Pat Nozo. He had to go. So I am going to bring you a student athlete every week. This week, I'm bringing in Juan Butler, number four wide receiver. What's up, bud? You good, bro? It is. I'm good. I can dig it. I can dig it. Y'all boys had a good game Saturday, man. Yeah. Did your thing, man. 99 yards, five catches, big. One short of 100. One short one, of 100. One thing short of 100. You already know what it is. My man's cool. Catching all the kids. You feel me? But uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about some volleyball, man. And uh, I don't know if you guys have been really keeping up with the volleyball um, team, but uh, our Lady Rams had a game Tuesday the 18th against North Greenville where they took a loss. Uh, they lost three games to nine. Now, um, what, do you, what do you think about, you know, what's going on with the volleyball team? Man? I don't know what's going on with the volleyball team. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, I guess they haven't came together yet. It's a long season, so I guess they'll, they'll pick it up towards the end. I'm not sure. But That's okay, <laughs> we just did. now they just had another game on the 20th, on the 20th where they played St. Aug. Now they took another L, three games to two. The Lady Rams volleyball team, people, hold your hearts and hold your chairs. They are 0 and 14. Hmm. So sad. <laughs> okay, now let's go where I want to go. You already know. If I had a pick, you know I have a fro. Football. <laughs> Where the Rams just beat Virginia Union 35-6. to Where Cam Smith went 16 for 27. 254 yards and two touchdowns. But he had two interceptions. Now leading in rushing was Pat Maputo with 12 carries. 46 yards and two TDs. Jamez Massey was a top receiver with five catches, 103 yards and one touchdown. And my main man, Jawan Yaman Butler, who is sitting right here with me, five catches, 99 yards, man. Just tell me a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, the game this weekend and, you know, how focused you guys were. Uh, we had a good week of practice. Uh, so we was extremely focused. Uh, we knew we couldn't under play down our competition. We couldn't underestimate them because you know, it's our first uh, conference game. So we just had to come out and perform, and, and that's what we did. Now, we um, a, lot, a lot of people talk about you guys, man, and, you know, you guys are too big-headed, and y'all only won four games, and y'all lost the game to go to the Natty last year. Man, if you got anything to say to anybody out there right now, man, let them know something. I just got... Um, Keep it real, brother. Keep it real. Well, every team that we didn't beat so far, I say we're not that good and we overrated. I feel like if we were overrated and weren't that good, then we wouldn't be winning. That's all I got to say about that. So he's saying, since you took that L, you have no reason to swell. So what the hell? <laughs> now, <laughs> my brother, this is your first time on the show. Yes, sir. Yes, you, sir. Uh, now, you've seen the show before. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, so yes, you, you uh, this is a part of the show I like to call. Now, um, when it comes to Livingstone and Virginia Union, man, who you got winning that game? Uh, I go with Livingstone. Yeah, because y'all just beat the yeah. out of VU. I'm going to go with Livingstone, too, because, yeah, V Union really didn't show me nothing. Now, um, Johnson C. Smith and Lincoln. I actually just seen Lincoln play at uh, Livingstone last week, and it was a it was a close game. Mm. But Livingstone was like 0 and 3. They just won their first game. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about Lincoln either, so I'm just picking John C. Smith. I think they're they're not that good either. I but. like I like Johnson C. Smith just because they have a uh, dominant quarterback. But both of them teams are uh, garbage. So so sad. Average, I guess. Okay, now. <laughs> When we go to St. Aug in Elizabeth City, who you got winning this one, bro? Um, Elizabeth City, overrated, so I'm pick St. Aug. I actually think it's going to be a good game. Um, Elizabeth City is quite overrated, you know. They are. True story. St. Aug, I'm not a St. Aug fan, but I'm a St. Aug fan, man. They got some sweet receivers, man. And every year we done played them, they done always gave us a struggle. Man. So I'm going to go with St. Aug. Now, I don't know if you know this, my black brother. 
But Shawan beat y'all last week. Mm. Shawan. I didn't know that. But Shawan is garbage. Yeah, yeah, they're terrible. So, Shaw's playing Virginia State this week, and I'm picking Virginia State. I agree with that. <laughs> he agrees with that. <laughs> no. When it comes to Fayetteville and Shawan, who you got, man? Uh, I got Shawan. They, they're, they're a little tough this year. They're better than the previous years, even though that's not that good, but they beat Fayetteville State. I can dig that. I'm, I'm actually going to go with Fayetteville State. I'm not, I don't have that much left for Shawan. And when it comes to the showdown in Yo Town, the game is away, so you need to get on the Greyhound. We're going to Bowie State, Winston Salem. You're Just right. give me give me a prediction, man. What's what's the score, man? Um we come out, we do what we're supposed to do. I'll say another 35 0. 35 zap. I'm gonna even boost it and make it 42 okay. to 3. Okay, okay. 42 to 3, man. And you already know what it was, man. That was hot picks. You kicking it with one and Pat Mon. I'm gonna leave y'all not traditionally like I always do. I'm gonna leave you with a little highlight clip of a Friday practice and a little bit of clips from the game this Saturday. Much love to the people, to the people, much love. This Pat. I already know Bap Some that's one. We out, man.
cash rules everything around me. Queen, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. I grew up on the crime side, the New York Times side. Staying alive was no...